Hi, hi, hello, and welcome back, everybody, to Sakura Dungeon. Last time we were walking around town with a few of our party members, but today we're going to continue exploration of the 11th floor. All right, let's check the map. All right, we're going to be mainly going for the right side of the map over here. And actually, hopefully, can fill it out completely by the end of this episode. So... Well, no, there should be an episode in between here and then. But, uh, for me it's been a little while and I do have to apologize about my, uh, about my lacking of, uh, keeping up my upload schedule. Just things get busy. I got behind on recording, such things of that sort, whatever. But, at this point that you're watching this, it sh we should have a nice little backlog of uninterrupted uninter uploads for a little while. So... With that out of the way, I wonder what the rest of the 11th floor has to offer. Fight me, tribeswoman, fox tamer, and cat girl. You're gonna lose, kids. Hold on a minute. Blast on cat girl. Uh, go single slash on her. Rapid claws. I'll just finish her off. All right. Uh, okay. Well, they're both strips. So. Go triple. Nice, nice. Almost took her out. Almost took her out. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. Dust Blast, and I'll just finish you off quickly. Oops. If I stop guarding you, I'll finish you off quickly. Alright. Let's head on forward. Looks like it's a dead end. Great. Hopefully we can get around to the other side of the map through this way on the other side. Guess it was just a dead end. Alright. Well, hopefully there's something around this corner, maybe. Fox Archer would be a little bit harder to take out, I think. Well, maybe not. I'll swap around cat girl and tribes woman. Tribes woman definitely needs a little bit of ooh. A warp stone. Well, that's good. Alright, here I'll give a full map so y'all can see where the warp stone is. Alright. Moving on. Head back to the other side of the map and try and finish out the rest of this floor. I suppose warp stone is worthy enough to drag us all the way over here. And my map completionism. Uh, old habits. Okay, I don't need to look at the map, so I'm not. That would honestly be quicker. For the experience. That is why we do this. Ugh. It's like we're having trouble dealing with the fox archer. That's a little bit better. But still. Y'all are like killing me. Y'all are killing me. You're killing me, Smalls. Poison stab. Uh, just get you taken care of. Let's 
go for another poison stab. Nope. Move shot. Okay. At least paralyzed. Hmm, that's very sad. Uh, arrows. Let's field. Single slash meditation. Guard. Single slash. Alright, let's go for acid shot. Hey, we got it, boys! We got it! Oh, yes. Alright, let's move up this way. Double check the map again. Oh, well, we should be able to just go through here. Nice, nice, very nice. Saves a lot of walking around. Great right, mud girl down, and the board girl shouldn't take no time at all. All right. All right. Let's see. Tribes with mud girl and board girl again. No big deal. I need to repair her clothes. Noted. Siri looks fine. So does the fox archer. Stripped and taken care of. Cool. Wow, fox archer does hella damage. All right. Um, consumables. Let's see. Mending tonic for you. All right. Let's take on this battle this out of the way. Um, acid shot. Ah, dodged. Poison stab, maybe? Paralyzed. Okay, uh, triple slash. Activated. That's annoying. Uh, Alright, venom shot. Let's go for a true strike. True strike, boy! Alright, dancing blade to take you out. Dodged. Maybe a venom shot for paralyzing. Poison stab, dodged it. Dancing blade, dodged it. That's unfortunate. Okay, uh, lightning slices. I wonder what that did. Maybe it paralyzed or something. Single slash. Arrows. Go for a poison stab. Single slash. Oh, so close, so close, so close. Oh yeah, there it is. Ooh, Siri leveled up. Not bad, not bad at all. Alright, let's... Okay. Make sure we have every bit of it mapped out. Another battle. Okay. Tribeswoman, Catgirl, and... Okay. Oops. I didn't mean to do auto battle. Um, let's see. We'll go single slash on the fox tamer because she's honestly one of the most easy to get. She could probably dodge that, but she didn't. Poison stab, parried. Ooh, okay, that hurts. Alright, parried again. We'll get some damage in on her. No, she's still not stripped. Crap, she parried again. Okay. Are you freaking kidding me with all these parries right now? Pyro shot, you won't parry that bitch. Alright, um. Get her stripped as well. Single slash to take down the cat girl. Dust blast against her. Go for an arrow, you can't parry that bitch. Alright, um. Okay. Arrows. Now we just gotta worry about the fox timer. Not bad. We'll sadly have to get rid of our own fox timer. Tribes is not really holding up like I'd like. Alright, looks like we have an item here. 25 mana shards. So where are we at on map? We are right here on map for reference for everybody at home. And we'll cut this way. Ooh, a door. Okay, um, 
go venom shot. Funny Rich paralyzed. Single slash to get her stripped. Um, let's see. We'll go another venom shot here. Oh, poison dust. Surprisingly, still not stripped. One more single slash will definitely do it. Okay. I'll go ahead and strip the cat girl. Triple slash on a cat. Um, take down the witch. Poison dust, take down the cat girl. And then we just take out the bunny witch. Cool. Ice flash scroll, dust blast scroll. Nice. Alright. Just for map reference, here we are. This is the loot room, it appears. A tribal cloth strap. Oh, hang on a minute. Let me make sure my phone's nowhere nearby. Get over there. I'm not talking to you. Alright. Now, what do we have here, Siri says. Oops. It appears to be a loincloth. It looks like one of the ones I wear, says the tribeswoman. Perhaps it's a spare loincloth from one of my sisters, she asks. Oh, Yomi says. Okay, I'm sorry. I have to turn that down just a little bit. The way it just cut in for me. It was a bit rough. All right. Oops. We'll go back one. Oh, says Yomi. Sounds like we found a new fashion statement. You do realize that they probably wear these things because they do not have the means to make different clothing, right? Asks Siri to Yomi. Indeed, says the tribeswoman, confirming Siri's suspicion. The clothing that we make is designed with practicality in mind first and foremost, says the tribeswoman. So, turning this into a fashion statement is a ridiculous idea, asks Siri. But... The very essence of fashion is being ridiculous, Siri, interjects Yomi. Maybe it will widen your perspective to wear something like this, Yomi says. But, but, what am I going to be wearing under the loincloth, asks Siri. I, I can't really say the, <clears throat> excuse me, I can't really say what you'll decide to wear tonight, says the tribeswoman. But we tend to wear nothing underneath our loincloths, she says. N nothing Siri stammers <laughs> uh, shoving her in new clothing is always very amusing all right everybody we got a scrap of clothing out of here which is not bad at all all right let's head on this way all right we're just gonna auto through this battle for the sake of time for everybody I do want to finish this floor in this episode and then we can take on the possible boss next time all right I'm locking the door oh okay well that's definitely a boss let's see here map okay we missed one little section right here and then Whenever we come back, we will be taking on the boss. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I shouldn't be fighting this. Get caught up in this stuff. <laughs> Forget what I'm doing. Got through the fox tamer and now we're on to the archer. Alright. Aha! A base. That holds nothing. Wonderful. Alright, everybody, let me see. Yep. And I would say that fills out our map. So I'm going to use, let me see here. Let's 
So many items. Here we go, a warp stone. Out, and we will go ahead and check out our new loincloth that Siri is so excited for. Looks like it was a rough exped expedition. Whoops, that's just the repair prompt, not the... Okay. You only approach me like this when you need some tailoring, as Villa says. So what have you brought me this time, Yomi? She asks. See for yourself, says Yomi. Hmm, and Isabella says. Animal leather, fur, simple strings, Isabella says. Yes, this shouldn't be too hard to work with. Two outfits, I'm presuming, asks Isabella. No, says Siri, bluntly. Just one. If Yomi likes these things, then she can enjoy it by herself, Siri says. Siri, says Yomi, at times you should throw off the trappings of civilization. Isabella looks her dead in the eye. I strongly suggest you try on the outfit, which I am going to great efforts to sew together, Isabella says. Uh, okay, says Siri, very scared. Alright, let's see what it looks like. Let's well, not nowhere near as bad as I thought. There. That wasn't so bad, wasn't it, Siri? asks Isabella. I suppose not, says Siri. It's a little exposing. It's still a little exposing, says Siri. That isn't, that isn't a good thing at all, says Siri. I do not see how this isn't a good thing, says Isabella. <laughs> I agree, it's a very good thing in my opinion. They look very cute. Alright everybody, I'm going to call it here for this episode. As always, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time for some more Soccer Dungeon.